Hello people of the internet, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the PowerShot SX420IS Wi-Fi camera by Canon. Um, this is around a $335 camera which is available at uh, like Walmart, Best Buy, uh, B&H, Amazon, you know, <clears throat> average places that you'd expect to buy a camera. Um, I picked this particular one up at Walmart. Um, it is a Canon, so it is actually very high quality, as the feel goes. Uh, it has a times 40 zoom. Comes with this nice lens cap. Um, now the can or the camera itself uh, with <clears throat> comes with a battery charger and the camera and le camera and lens cap and an instruction manual which let me grab that which comes in all sorts of different languages English Spanish I'm guessing that's French so um it does not come with an SD card so, you can buy yourself one. It uses full-size SD cards, not micro or mini, just normal size. Um, which is great if your computer has a slot for it, which you should check uh, to see if it does. Because there's not really USB adapters for full-size ones, which uh, maybe there is, but I haven't seen any. Um, it has a flip-up flash as well as a flash right here which at first I thought this was like the viewfinder but the great thing about this camera <coughs> is it doesn't have uh, a viewfinder on it now let me turn it on here oh the glare is terrible uh. um, basically yeah there is no uh, viewfinder on it what you see here is what's being seen by the camera which is great for you know taking pictures because it's not like offset it's what you see on the screen is what the picture is going to look like except the screen is slightly lower res uh, the screen is pretty good though and as you can see the uh, manual uh, zoom use it by clicking this way uh, to go for or to zoom in that's it fully zoomed in. And the other way to go is zoom out. There's the, uh, let's take a picture. Uh, you got the Wi Fi button over here. Uh, the menu button there. Uh, it, uh, I'll show you some pictures taken with this thing. You can't really see it through the viewfinder because there's so much glare from my window on it. Um, but on to the Wi-Fi part. Now this is a Wi-Fi camera. It can be uh, wirelessly connected to your phone. Uh, it is kind of a pain to do that because it tells you on the instructions. There's a little end thing here, and it tells you to like slide your phone over it, and it like connects. Which my phone's an older phone, so I don't have that feature. I've never heard of that before. But um, I just connect via WAP uh, Wi-Fi, which I would not use the phone as a viewfinder just because there is a significant amount of lag between what the camera sees and what you see on your phone. So, yeah, it's mainly used if you want to transfer pictures from here onto your phone so you can view them with a better screen. But uh, the screen's pretty good, actually. It's a pretty decent resolution. Uh, it's 20 megapixels, 720p, but I'm not sure what that means. I'm not an expert on cameras, but it, the, it doesn't export in a resolution of 720p. Uh, it can vary, which is weird. Sometimes it can be like 820 by 1000, uh, or... It could be like 720 by 850 or something, uh, depending on the shot. But usually it is a higher resolution. Um, maybe 720 refers to this screen.
screen. I'm not sure. Uh, but it does take really good pictures. Anyway, I'll shut up and I'll show you some pictures in a video that I took on this camera.